No weapon against me shall prosper. Don't do this for Grammys or Oscars. These babies is dying from choppers. Mama hurting, getting high as a roster. Drive by after drive by. Want a murky nigga to walk up. When you kill a baby that's citizen, then the whole hood need to talk up. Damn, damn shake in the kids' plate instead of running from a nigga. How's everybody doing out there today? You tuning in with Captain Curtin, Trap Etiquette. I'm introducing you to my channel, but the first thing I want to show you how to do, I want to show you how I turn my sunroom into a podcast studio slash gaming room. And I also want to show you how to take your podcast studio or gaming room to the next level and doing it yourself cheap. It don't take much, and I'll show you all the products that you're going to need, and I also will put all the links in the description below. But the first thing you're going to need is the 3D wall panels of your choice. They got different styles, and they're all on Amazon. It's made out of plastic. Pretty durable stuff. Looks real cool on the wall. Everybody likes it, but they got a bunch of different patterns. But the first thing you need is a way to put it up. And the first thing that I did was did a little research myself. I looked at a few videos myself on YouTube. Some people use construction glue. I've seen liquid nail. A bunch of different things, you know. But I ended up just using some good old trusty double-sided tape because it's not messy and it's quick and easy. Another thing you might need is a level. Because depending on where you're going to put it on the wall, you want to make sure you put a level line on there and kind of go on that. Because if you just go off your wall and you start from one end and you get to the other end, you'll find out your wall was crooked. But the best thing to do is start you a line and go from there. And another thing about this stuff by being 3D, you always want to start from the bottom and work your way up. So that way, if you have to do any cuts, all your cuts will be at the top and at the side where the wall ends. That's very important because if you don't, it will not look right. Basically, for example, if this was a cut and I started from the top and brought it down and this was at the bottom, you'd be able to stick your hand behind it because it raises up off the wall in 3D and it will look horrible. So my tip for you is start from the bottom, work your way up, do all your cuts at the top and at the end of the wall. And when you get done, if you want to button everything up and make it look a lot neater than it will look, get yourself some caulk, caulk gun. Caulk gun is only three or four dollars. Get a thing of caulk for five bucks. You know, as you can see, and I will show you in the video the difference with it caulked and the difference without it being caulked. So you probably want to do that if you want it to look good. You know, you don't want it to look like your son or your kid or somebody did it. Another thing you might need is some scissors. But you won't be able to just cut straight through the stuff because once again, like I said, it's 3D and it's very thick. Even if you got some good scissors, it's going to make it pretty hard with these scissors. So what I would recommend is using this here multi-tool because this is what I use. And if you don't have one, they sell them at Walmart for like, I think I paid like 18 bucks for this, which isn't too bad. Plus, they're pretty handy to have around the house. So might want to pick one of those up but like I said you know I just want to introduce you guys to my channel I will have a few more other projects coming along but this is something I don't want to take too much of your time and I wish I would have filmed it at the beginning and I kind of could have showed you the steps as I went through but I didn't get everything done well I had everything done before I had all my stuff that I needed to record so with that being said, next time I will show you a little more in depth and detail exactly how I did it. Actually, I have another project coming up. I've started it, but I haven't completed it. I have a three-piece picture set that I also ordered off Amazon. I can show you how to wire those up together with string lights or you can wire them up separately however you like to do it but just tune in for my next video and i'll do a quick video to show you how i did that as well but like i said thank you for tuning in to my channel stay tuned thank you for tapping in with trap etiquette captain kurt signing off